Well, this is it. And I said I wouldn't care to go through that again. But when it's your time, it's your time to go. Well, it's your turn now, kiddo. But let me give you some advice. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, Doctor. And good luck. Cheers, Doctor. I'll leave you to be. Thank you, my dear nurse. I'll be back to check on her. Cute. Uh, ow. <clears throat> my head. Tough day, wouldn't you say, kiddo? Oh, what happened? Where am I? You took quite a bump on the head and got kicked out of your TARDIS. You? Doing here. The question is, who are you? I am the doctor. Doctor who? Just the doctor. Good. Now where are you from? I'm from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Castabarus. Good, that's good. I was just testing you to see who you really are. The reason for what I'm doing here is because one of the unit members called me about a TARDIS on fire, and you came out of it on conscience. So I showed up to check to see if you're an imposter, but it turns out you are me from the future. I see. So, where am I? You're in a hospital. You took a bump on the head, and we had to make sure if you were hurt at all. Well, I'm doing just fine. My head hurts a bit, but I'm fine. Hey, can you give me a mirror? Of course. Here you go, kiddo. Oh no. No wonder Unit didn't recognize me. That's not me at all. I'm a girl. And I'm British. Yeah, that face and that long hair. I can't believe I regenerated into a lovely British girl. You should talk, Mr. Laidback Yankee. I don't know why I bother tying that tie of yours. Hey, it's my style, and I like it that way. Whatever you say, Doctor. Besides, I don't know. I think my face is rather distinctive, don't you think? Well, whatever floats your boat. But I think it's time for a new image. There's a locker room in this hospital. Nurse! Yes, Doctor? Anything I can help you with? Yes, my dear nurse. Can you take us to the locker room? My friend here needs a new look. Yes, of course. Right this way. Here you are, Doctors. You know I could get in big trouble for this. Don't worry, my dear nurse, Ingrid. 
If they ask, just say I force you to take me to the locker room for some clothes. Do you think this is wise? Of course, they're doctors. They can afford more clothes. Ah, a USA cap. I've been looking all over for one of these. I forgot how patriotic I was. You know, some days you can walk past that cap. I doubt that's ever going to happen. What? I can't believe my past generation is some patriotic, flirty American like you. Well, it could have been worse. I could have regenerated into the king of pop. <laughs> or regenerated that comedian who has a thing for jello pudding pop. No. Thank God you didn't turn into any of them. Yeah, I know. Now uh, look around and see what kind of look you're going for. I'll wait until you're done. Right now, let's see. Unit Officer Colonel Zaid Shepard reporting for duty, Doctor. Please don't salute at ease. But who sent you? The Brigadier, sir. She heard that there are two of you, and also there's something strange going on in the street of London. Right, Doctor, ready or not, here I come. Ta-da! Wow, not bad. You look very marvelous, Doctor. Yeah, and, uh, who's the soldier? Oh yeah, this is... Unit Officer Colonel Zaid Shepard reporting for duty, Doctor. Oh, don't salute. I'm not that famous, you know. Sirs, what can I call you two? I can't call you both the Doctor. It might get confusing. Hmm, you're right. Well, I am like the American guy, right? Yes. So, you can call me U.S. Doctor. And since I am a British lady, you can call me U.K. Doctor. Colonel? Right, a U.S. doctor and a U.K. doctor. Come with me to my jeep. Your jeep where to? To the crime scene, so I can show you two what we're dealing with. Alright then, let's go! Doctor, doctor! Yes. yes? Oh, I mean the U.S. doctor. Sorry. Can I please go with you? I want to join you. I'm sorry, Ingrid, but right now I need to teach the little one here the ropes. Who are you calling little, Boomer? Wrong boomer to be messing with, kiddo. Anyway, I'm sorry. Maybe next time. Okay. Good luck. Shepard, unit officer, and these two are the doctors. They're with me. Constable J. Ryan, Scotland Yard, I never thought a unit would be involved in this. Yeah, well, when it comes to uh, odd and strange cases, unit always gets involved. So you two are the doctors? Doctor who? Just, Just the, the doctor. doctor. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. Nope, never does. They're Time Lords, time-traveling aliens who have helped UNIT for years. So this handsome, laid-back American and this lady are the Doctors. Yeah, that's right. Wait, handsome? Hmm, must be my American magnetism. Yeah, right. So you say. Anyway, what do you got, Constable? Well, there's a, there's a body of an elderly woman. Bit strange, though. Oh? What makes you say that? Well, look at the elderly woman. Yeah, I know what you mean. The clothes she's wearing look very modern. Indeed, most elderly people don't wear modern clothes like that. They mostly wear old-fashioned clothes because they feel comfortable wearing clothes from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Hmm. It is weird, but you'd be surprised what old people would wear nowadays. I get confused with the cultures now. Well, unless you count the Victorian era. <laughs> now that's my kind of era. Well, let me see. Hmm, this can't be right. Let me check.
Dang, mine says the same thing. What do your gadgets say, Doctor? Oh yeah, these are sonic screwdrivers. It's a handy tool for us Time Lords. Oh, I see. So, what does this sonic screws thingy say? Well, it says this elderly woman here is 25 years old. Exactly what's mine. Mine says she's 25 too. Wait, how can this grey-haired elderly woman be only 25? I always heard about you unit guys. You guys always do weird and strange things. Well... Doctor, did you hear that? Oh yeah, another victim. Others there across the block. Well, come on then. Your time is up. Freeze! Ah, uh, more to extend in my life. Hold it right there, clockwork droid! The Time Lords, leave me alone! What was that? Did you see the scars on her cheeks? Looking at me like she got a permanent smile. Besides her cheeks, look at her eyes. Someone must have removed one of her eyes and embedded a pocket watch into the eye socket. She looked like clockwork. Clockwork? A creepy pasta about a girl who has a pocket watch for an eye in her eye socket and goes around with her butcher knife attacking people saying your time is up. Hmm, interesting. More interesting than the urban legends I heard a lot of. I should look up this creepy pasta thing one of these days. But I wonder how she knows we are time lords. So, what does it say? Well, it says that this 90-year-old uh, looking woman is 24. What? 24? She's been taking younger and younger victims. There's one thing that I don't understand. One thing? How is it that girl knows you two are time lords? Maybe it might be our sonic screwdrivers. When she saw it, she automatically knew where we were. Hey, Doctor, what are you looking at? I found something. Constable, can I borrow your tweezers, please? Oh, blimey, Doctor, you found a piece of her hair. Here's an evidence bag for you, U.S. Doctor. Thank you, and here are your tweezers back. Thanks. So, are you going to examine it to find out who or what she is? That's right, kiddo. Then let us go to my TARDIS. Actually, Doctor, I hate to tell you this, but... Your TARDIS is still on fire. What? Yeah, ever since you got thrown out of it, flames come out the windows and everything. We tried to stop the fire, but it locked itself up and we couldn't get to it. Hmm. I guess it's still repairing itself. Then let's take my TARDIS. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this TARDIS? It's our ship. It stands for Time Relative Dimension in Space. So it's a spaceship and a time machine? Yes, indeed. Right, let's take the jeep. That small blue wooden box, how will we fit inside? Trust me, we'll all fit inside, Ryan. <laughs> Brigadier told me that Tardis was bigger on the inside, but I didn't think it was this big. What do you think, Constable? Constable? How? Just how is that possible? Alien technology. What? Alien technology. The Tardis is mostly advanced technology ever made from our planet, Gallifrey. Doctor? Doctor, where's Hannah? Oh good, you remember her, kiddo. Sadly, she left. Really? Where? In the cyberpunk universe. Along with Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Oh yeah, that's right. I do miss her. You and me both. 
She was the best cyber companion I ever had. Yeah, good old Hannah Blossma. Yeah. So, let's take this hair to the DNA scanner. Alright, sorry. I... Wow, sure is very advanced. It beats the four snips at the lab in the precinct. Now, let's see who this clockwork girl is. Uh, kiddo, I think you should take a look at this. Blimey, how is that possible? Well, what does it say? Well, she is part-time Lord, part-earthling. I've known about the father, but her mother is... The Rani. Who's the Rani? Yeah, who is Rani? The Rani is a time lord like us. She was once our childhood friend until she became evil. What, like the master? The master? Kinda, yeah. But why does she look like that creepy pasta clockwork? Maybe she read the story and she wants to be like her. Nah, it's more to it than that. All we need to do is... Doctor, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh. I was just uh, looking up uh, Creepypasta's clockwork. Her story is dark, sad, twisted. Along with other Creepypasta stories, it's different than those urban legends I enjoyed. But this Creepypasta looks familiar. Which one? That one, called Slender Man. Yeah, it looks like the silence, except tentacles. Like an octopus. Yeah, and faceless. I hate to interrupt you two, but UK Doctor, do you have a plan? Oh, go right ahead, kiddo. Right, okay. All we need to do is... I hope the UK Doctor plan works. Your time is up. Clockwork girl, don't move. Units, freeze. Hold it right there, princess. You're alright, Constable? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. I told you Time Lords to leave me alone. Not until we get some answers, Princess. I'm not a princess. Don't mind him. He always does that. But we do need some answers. Do you remember your past? All I remember is my mom. The Ronnie. Indeed. Yeah, that's what they call her. Anyway, she told me to come with her and her TARDIS. But after her TARDIS disappeared, I fell into the Time Vortex. That explains the scars and the pocket watch on your eye. The pocket watch is my mother's. It fell out of my pocket and forced itself in my eye while falling through the time vortex. How about those people you killed? The one you took their use from? The time vortex made you age fast, didn't it? Yes. When I fell from the vortex, it started aging rapidly. That's why I've been taking the youth from those people. And that pocket watch? It's not just a pocket watch, it's more like a youth meter. Of course, when it goes up to 12, you grow old and die. Right now you have five and a half hours left. Why don't you try regenerating? Yeah! I don't know how. What? The Ronnie never taught you how to regenerate? I don't know anything about regeneration. What? what? She never taught me. Well, it's easy, princess. All you had to do is let yourself go, and then you'll regenerate. Okay, I'll try. I think you guys need to take a step back a bit. Yeah. I don't want you guys getting hit by its beams. Are you Time Lord like a phoenix? In a way, yeah. Watch is finally out of her eye. Yeah, but I don't get it yet. She's not done regenerating. Huh. She regenerated into a little girl. Can you doctors do that? No. No Time Lord never regenerate into a child. Unless... 
Unless she took the youths from her victims. Yeah. Hmm? Hello? Who are you? We're the doctors. Really? Then who, who am I? Excuse me? This is bad. Very bad. I know. It's worse than I thought. How much worse can it be? Well, you know when some of you humans get really, really old and then you start to forget everything? You mean Alzheimer's. She's dying. <sighs> Quick, catch her before she hurts herself. Gotcha, princess. Rest easy. It'll be over soon. I am dying, am I? I'm afraid so, princess. Please don't leave me. Don't want to be alone. We won't leave you. We'll be right here. Okay? Stay strong. Doctors? Yeah? I want to go home. <sighs> you will soon. What are you two gonna do now? Well, she said she wants to go home. So we should take her home to Gallifrey. Good idea, Doctor. Uh, Colonel? Take us to my TARDIS. I think it might be repaired. Right. I'm not going with you. I'm sorry. Why? The whole thing is just too much for me. I'll go back to Scotland Yard, file my report. The inspector might not believe me, but I mention unit and he will say case closed. So, goodbye doctors. Constable? Constable? Bye constable, and thanks. Too bad, I kind of liked her. Anyway, off we go doctors. Ah oh, yes, it's finally been repaired. Wow, that's different. Yeah, definitely redecorated. But I don't like the lighting. I don't like the lighting? What's better than your lighting makes me feel like I'm in the Emerald City. The Emerald City? Who do you think I am? The Wizard of Oz? <laughs> anyway, let's take this little clockwork girl home to Gallifrey. Right. To Gallifrey. gave her a good burial. Yeah, and I made sure she's called the daughter of the Ronnie. We can't call her clockwork, girl. Hmm, good point. Well, I still got the pocket watch from the girl's eye. I think I better put in the unit archives to keep it safe. Good idea. Well, it's time for me to go. You're on your own for now on, kiddo. Really? Are you sure you want to leave me on my own? Who knows? Only time will tell. But let me give you some advice. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, Doctor. And good luck. Right, so... Thank you, Doctor. Whatever that is supposed to mean. I'm still unsure of who I am yet, but... Time will tell. Yes. <laughs> According to my phone, the Brigadier wants to see you at Unit HQ. Right then, to the Brigadier we go. <laughs>
happy birthday, Yana, and many more. Don't forget to click below to the official Multivoice Reviewer YouTube channel.